Hello everyone, this is Robert and this is the new Bamboo Lab H2S in four minutes. Let's go. The H2S and the H2D have a lot of similarities. They have the same servo extruder with a hot end temperature of 350 C and a bed temperature of 120 C. They both also have the same active cooling. You've got the little flip up vent in the front and then the louvers on the back and they both have an active chamber heater, which is really cool. So you can print just about anything. However, there are a few differences between these two machines. Of course, the biggest difference between the H2S and the H2D is the single nozzle on the H2S. They both have the exact same build plate, but you do get more build volume out of the single nozzle. Because the H2D needs that extra room for the nozzle switching, you only get about 325 millimeters of X travel on the H2D. And if you're using two nozzles, you only get about 300 millimeters, but you get the full 340 millimeters on the H2S. In addition, you also get a little bit extra Z height going from 325 on the H2D all the way up to about 340 millimeters on the H2S. All of this equates to about a 10% overall larger build volume on the new H2S. Both models can use the new AMS2 and the AMS HT, as well as the old original AMS modules, and both of them can use the vision encoder plates for higher print accuracy. Both of these also come in the laser variant, and there will be upgrade kits, so you can upgrade the standard one to the laser version. However, the big difference between these is while the H2S can use the 10 watt diode laser module and the drag knife cutter, only the H2D can use the 40 watt diode laser module. There are two more minor differences between these two machines. On the H2S, you lose the side windows, so the visibility really isn't as good, and you also lose the nozzle camera. However, on the H2D, as of right now, there is no way to actually view that video feed. It is just for the printer to do its own internal calibration, so you don't really lose any functionality from it, but it is to be noted that the H2D has a nozzle camera and the H2S does not. Other than that, after putting a few hundred hours on the H2S, there's really not that much difference between them. The usability is practically the same. So now that my print's finished, let's talk pricing. The base H2S is coming in at $1,250 US dollars at the time of launch, and the AMS combo unit that you see here is $1,500. This is the same pricing that the X1 was released at, and it's a little higher than the current X1 pricing. I have this little chart that you can pause to kind of give you a comparison of all the different bamboo printers. If you're trying to choose between the H2S and the H2D, there's a couple things to take into consideration. If you need dual nozzles, if you need to print with two different materials, or you need the option of the 40 watt laser module, go with the H2D. However, if you do not need the 40 watt laser module and you do not need the dual nozzles, but you want the larger build volume, the H2S is gonna be the one to go with. Functionally, they're identical in every other way. They're gonna be able to print all the same materials in the same way with the same quality. As always, with all of my 3D printing content, there are no affiliate links down below, and I am not being compensated for making any of this content. Bamboo did send me this printer for use in my workshop, but not in exchange for any content. I am making this because I just thought it would be helpful for some people. That being said, after spending some significant time with the H2S and my two H2Ds, I can say that they are the best printers I have ever owned. Between the capabilities, the reliability, and just the ease of use and quality of life features, they've been a favorite for me. That being said, I don't care if you buy or what you buy, so just do your own research, be informed, and make sure you know what you're getting. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.